these are our bongos. These are our two boys. We have Franklin and Winston. They're just over a year old. Bongos come from Africa. They are the largest of the nocturnal antelope species found in Africa, which means these guys normally are going to be active at nighttime, but they can come out during the day if they want to, especially on cooler days. These guys are going to be active during the mornings and late afternoons into evenings. Now, bongos are strictly herbivores, which means they only eat plant material. And one of their favorites are actually all the browses and the bushes of the dense forest where they come from. Now, of course, carrots here are a nice snack for our bongos here at Bright Zoo. So we like to treat our bongos when they come over. Now, both males and female bongos of the species grow these horns on top of their head. The boys here, as I said, are only about a year old, so their horns are not very large. Once they are full grown, their horns will reach about two feet in length, and the male's horns will be thicker than their female counterparts. Now the horns are used for protection. They do live in the dense forests of Africa. <laughs> now the bongos live in the dense forest, and those horns are used for not only protection of their loved ones, um, themselves, from predators, but also when they're walking through the dense forest, so branches don't whack them in the face. Now the bongos will weigh up to about 500 pounds of a full-grown adult female and up to 700 pounds for a full-grown adult male. Our bongos now weigh of generally about 300 pounds, so they still have some growing to do. Now the dark red color allows them to camouflage into the dark brush as well as the striping that is on their body. It allows them to blend in perfectly well. When they're standing among the tree line, predators can't pick out where the bongo starts and where the bongo stops, so they blend in perfectly well as their camouflage. Their strike pattern is unique to them and to them alone, just like each human's fingerprints is unique to them. The striping on the bongo is unique to that bongo, <laughs> which allows us to identify our bongos by looking for a certain set pattern. All bongos are reddish copper colored with a little bit of a black on the muzzle with the white striping, but as I said, those stripings are unique to each bongo. 